back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today it's a no peeking chicken strips, alright? A really cool little dish that you can do on the barbecue. Right, got myself a nice big bowl, I'm adding in a little bit of lemongrass paste, a little bit of coriander paste, basil paste, I'm using about a teaspoon of each of these. You know, straight in just like that. A little bit of ginger, a little bit more than two a teaspoon there, maybe two, and a good dollop of garlic paste. I'm gonna put in a couple of teaspoons of sesame oil, straight in like that. And here I've got some hoisin sauce. Not a lot left in this particular jar, it's okay. I do have a backup, so I'll put some of that in. Use up what I've got left there. Right. And the hoisin sauce is what gives this the magic flavor. You can see in the background there, I've just poured a little bit of Xiaojing wine, rice wine, into that uh, empty jar. I'm just going to uh, try and extract as much of that hoisin sauce out of that jar as possible. Give that a bit of a shake. And, uh, pour that in as well. And that's going to give this uh, particular chicken a really nice flavour. Stir all that marinade through, just like I'm doing there. And as you can see on the right hand side, I've just got a bunch of chicken thighs. Now, the chicken thigh always has much better flavour and uh, does tend to grill better. Just cut those into two or three strips lengthways, just like that. Uh, you can put these on a skewer if you wish, but uh, for this particular recipe, we're not. We're just going to uh, simply put these straight on top of a hot plate and uh, let them cook. So, I'm going to speed that up, continue with the rest. I used around about 750, 800 grams worth of chicken thighs for this particular dish and we're going to let that marinate for at least half an hour longer the better so if you leave it for around about two hours it'd be even better again just put that in the refrigerator covered with some cling film and uh, we can go and uh, get on to our next stage which of course is cooking it I'm using my teppanyaki grill just simply put those down if you're using the barbecue, I'd put a little bit of oil down as well. We're going to grill these off for around about four minutes per side. That's all they're going to need and going to cook quite quickly. So give them a flip after four minutes and just be uh, take note that, that that marinade will stick. So it's a non-stick surface that I'm cooking on and uh, just makes things a bit easier. So if you're using your grill, but oil it up. Serve that up with whatever side you like. I've just got a little quick uh, potato salad that I've made up. That can go down. This would also go down really well. Some rice, uh, some brown rice even would work quite nicely. So put down your sides. And simply all you need to do now is take your chicken strips and place them on top. So it looks really, really pretty and really nice. Okay. All right. So there you go. KP's no peeking chicken strips thank you so much for watching this video really do appreciate it if you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence it should make you feel warm and fuzzy too please share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media we're trying to get the name of this channel out there hit that notifications bell to be notified every time a new video goes up but more importantly you want to learn new little recipes like this well you need to come and join the family my family hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again all right i'll my no peeking chicken strips, and I will catch you next time. Bye!